just at the process of trying to figure out this tank, how it's going to fit on the frame. I originally had the little lugs that were welded onto the actual frame there. I shortened them, but they just were in the way and they're in the wrong spot anyway. So I, I cut them off completely um, and ground back the inside of the tank where those little U's are, the little U sections that sit inside the tank that uh, house that little rubber stop. I, um, yeah, I had to trim them at the very bottom. And what I've done now is I've just got a bit of timber sitting on top of the head there so that the tank sits level. And it's pretty much just sitting on top of this frame here. This is probably all gonna go. Um, so my process is trying to keep that flat line across the bottom of the tank flowing all the way into the seat. And I've just got a bit of masking tape and just getting my lines right to work out how much of this frame I need to cut. Um, so all that there is going to have to pretty much go because um, it's got a bit of a kink just here and I'll just cut it pretty much there. So that's going to be cut. This is going to be cut off and then the new piece can pretty much go from I guess this section all the way through and then the hoop gets put on and make sure that that hoop stays no further than the axle. And that's the process that I've kind of decided to do. I just want to make sure all my lines are right before I start cutting. So that's why I'm standing back, spending a bit of time trying to figure this all out. And yeah, that's it. I kind of worked out that the bottom of that tape line is kind of where I want to cut. Um, just gives me enough meat here, enough support for this shock. Uh, and then the tube's going to go on top. And then the two sections, the two pieces of plate here and this, uh, so this side and the other side, is going to be welded both sides on top of that tube. Or oh, sorry, under that tube. Um, and then I'll get a hoop. I actually purchased one from eBay, uh, a hoop for it, but it's just... It's out of whack. It's not right. Um, I wasn't very happy actually. And it's kind of not the size that I need. Um, I changed my design. I originally was going to make it out of this thick stuff, 25mm. Um, now I've tried, decided to make it out of 21mm uh, tube. So what I'm going to do now is get a piece of that masking tape and put it on the other side. Uh, and just take my time with it, spend some time standing back looking at it, working out exactly what's going on here and the line that I want because there on the frame you only really want to do that once, you don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to take my time with it. It's probably the most daunting part of building this Cafe Racer is chopping that frame, uh, for me anyway, because you don't want to make a mistake. Uh, it's there um, now and in about 10 minutes it's not going to be there so I just want to make sure I've cut in the right spot and really thought about this and worked out exactly how I want that seat to sit. You don't want to spend time having to you know, try and rebuild any of that framework in the corner, the support for the suspension or any of that stuff. I mean I could but I'd rather not. I'd rather just leave it as is and just design the seat around it. That's going to be much easier for me. Um, yeah. That kind of worked out perfect. If you are going to do this, I would recommend using masking tape like I did. Um, that cut is absolutely spot on and it runs the bottom of that tank. So, I mean, the stripe on the tank is a bit of an illusion. It actually puts you off, but that is sitting like almost spot on from the bottom of that tank. Um, I still need to manipulate the height of the tank a little bit at the back, like a couple of mil, but it's nothing. Like that's absolutely amazing how that worked out. So yeah. Um, just got to figure out uh, the size of the tube that I'm going to use. I probably, I don't know if I'm going to use this or something a bit thicker. How I'm going to attach it inside there. 
um, what angle I want to put this on in order to get the shape of the seat and then I've got to somehow get a hoop at the back. Yeah, it's coming along. absolutely nailed that line that I wanted. I'm really happy with it, the way it's sitting at the moment. Um, I put a bit of pin striping on this here, just so that I can see the bottom of the tank. And I spent a bit of time cutting this off and I wanna keep it. I'm gonna use it as a sleeve for the piece that comes across here uh, and weld that out. I think it's gonna be way stronger. So that's in there. I've actually lifted it up. I cut it off. The reason I cut it off is because I needed to lift it. I moved it up. Uh, 15 millimeters um, to get it so it tucks pretty much and it's hidden by the tank um, and yeah and that's all going to get welded out but to design the seat I want to have um, it coming out this way and out that way to about sort of there and then come straight from there so I actually want a bit of a, a taper in the front of the seat there so I'm going to have to spend a bit of time playing around with that, but yeah, I'm really happy with how far I've gotten in a short time uh, and what it's looking like so far. So yeah, still heaps to do, but that's where I'm up to. Now that I've taken the tank off, you can kind of see what I was talking about with this bracket. Uh, reusing the original bracket that's mounted um, to this back brace. And um, this just slides in perfectly so this piece of pipe is going to have enough reinforcement here to have the strength once I weld that out. And these ones here are just sitting there at the moment. I've got to prep them for welding. Um, just take a little bit of a chamfer off the edge of that on both of them um, so that it's nice and strong once I grind it down. Um, but yeah, it's getting a bit of the idea of how the seat's going to be. Um, it's going to have a bit of a taper in at the top and then the hoop at the back. I had a pretty productive day today. I managed to uh, cut the frame off this and put the new one on or construct the new one. Um, it's not finished yet. All I've done really is put a uh, piece of timber on top of it, just it's a thin piece of timber, just to get a look to see what's gonna happen. I mean, the frame is pretty much done. Um, however, it needs some center supports and it also needs this piece replaced, the actual, uh, the hoop because the hoop is a different diameter pipe or tube uh, than the main frame. It's just I threw it on there just to see what it was going to look like. But apart from that, uh, the line that I was chasing, that flat line going all the way across, I'll put the timber back on it. You might be able to see it a bit better. So that flat line that I was chasing uh, going all the way through the bike from the tank all the way through, you can see it's just amazing. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've just been playing with a few other things on the bike at the moment like I've taken the lever off here um, the brake lever and I've dismantled it and just to, because it wasn't working I wanted to bleed the brakes but I just couldn't so turns out that the uh, little rubber washers that sit in here they're not o-rings they're a different type of washer I'm just gonna have to get a, uh, a kit for that but um, yeah I think today was a pretty productive day uh, overall. And uh, another thing I just wanted to add uh, to this video then, if you have been watching some of my videos, you'll know that I'm building this CB750 obviously. But um, there's a few other uh, bikes that are in the mix as well that are gonna be getting work done on them. That's a CX500. And uh, there's another CX500. I purchased that one a week ago. And I plan on doing two completely different styles with these CX500. So throw in the description what you would like to see me build them into. Uh, I do have heaps of ideas already on what I want to do, but 
for now I'm going to stick with a CB750 and complete that before I start the next build. It's not going to be long before I do start them, so if this is something that you're interested in seeing, I urge you to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of any new videos that come up. I mean, one of the bikes that I do could be the model that you have or you're interested in, so don't miss out on any of those videos. And I will be recording everything from my mistakes all the way through to sometimes even the simplest things, just to show you what I'm up to um, and just to help anybody out there who has hit a problem or wants to learn something um, and just show you what's possible in a garage and what you can actually achieve. So yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.